Thank you, Kato, and thank you, Sue. Um, from what I've heard and, and just being around for a month in the office, um, the journey has been a, a, a struggle, a hard one, um, but I know you'll get there with the, the commitment of um, everybody in this room or in this office um, tonight. I'd now like to acknowledge the city of uh, uh, Woolly Boulder, um, whose office uh, uh, we, we, we're in at the moment. Um, and introduce the uh, Mayor of Kalgoorlie Boulder, John Bowler. Thanks very much. And can I also recognise the traditional custodians of the land where we gather here tonight and uh, pay our respects. Kato, thanks very much. The first thing you've all got to do in the next couple of weeks is vote for Kato. Because if we had him in the Senate, I've got no doubt, for the first time, the Goldfields would have a strong voice in the Senate, yeah, directly, right. otherwise, other than someone out of Perth, Cato, we have always had them and uh, I wish you all the best. Well done, mate. Um, my first link with uh, <coughs> Aboriginal languages with a guy called Rob Douglas, and I worked with him at the Cadley Mine, I was a young journalist, and found out that his father was one of the world experts in Indigenous languages. and. Uh, used to go around to Rob's place and old Wolf was there. He probably wasn't that old, but uh, he seemed to be older than me then. And uh, he was ta he talked to me in the different about the cultures and the customs. It was amazing what he knew. But it was also, I was probably got told by him at that time that how much of that language, how much of that culture was quickly disappearing. And the next, uh, and the work that he did and others were doing at that time, it was all there, there and then, but he was worried that in the next 50, 60 years, without the right amount of work, it was unrecoverable. Gone, once it's gone, it's a bit like a, a, an extension of a species, of an animal, you can't get it back. And um, the next day I knew was about 15 years later, I ran into Cathy Trimmer, and uh, still at the ABC, and I interviewed Cathy, no, when I met Rob I was at the Academy Mine. When I interviewed Cathy I was at the ABC and uh, she told me about the what they were going to do and how they were going to do it and so I, for the first time I probably thought well you know what the, the Will's fears are probably going to be hopefully unfounded and uh, and I know that so much crucial work was done in that period because as I walked around town and met Aboriginal people I never ever heard them talking in their language. They always spoke English in that period. Um, you uh, just never heard it. And so I was starting to worry that maybe it was even too late. But a lot of that work that they did then filled that gap. And what Cato said about, and I've heard since, about a lot of the elders doing unfunded work, that if they hadn't have done that, uh, it may have been lost. So I think this is timely. I think we, all those steps have sort of almost uh, inadvertently s stopped what Wilf was worried about. And so it's crucial now that the work you do and all these people now make the most of that. And it is recorded properly for not this generation, but future generations. And not just the people, not their, you know, their, their sons and daughters, but for my sons and daughters, for my grandchildren because this culture is so rich around here. And uh, I, I grew up not knowing how rich it was. I, I, it's just something I've ashamedly learned in the last probably 20 years. It wasn't publicised, it wasn't talked about much, but it certainly is now. And hopefully, this and a great location, I've got to say, not just because the council own it, no, we own the whole block. Well, not, we don't, you do, you're the people of Cathy Bowler. You own the block. And you could, I don't think you could get a better location. Right smack dab in the centre of the city. Um, people going past, and, uh, and, not, and particularly for Aboriginal people, the pride that they will feel walking past here and knowing what's going on. And also for, for white people to walk in and find out what is going on and, you know, and, and getting them. So congratulations to all who have got to this point today. Uh, this is vital. Um, and this will hold us all in good stead in coming generations. Cato, wish you all the best in uh, three weeks.
yeah. three weeks and uh, tomorrow and uh, that will be vital. So go around and tell all your friends in the Senate, vote one. Uh, and uh, look, uh, congratulations to everyone and I now officially declare the Centre open. Thank you.